حي على الفلاح حي على بيجينا محمد ولا آله وأصحابه وأزواجه أجمعين أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل لقطة من لساني يفقه قولي ربي زدني علما أجمعين إن شاء الله بإله سبحانه وتعالى انكريز ان all of us knowledge Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Brother, it is so easy. You are going to love it and you will become expert. In two days, you will become expert. Okay. At least, this is only Mahdi we are doing. Are you with me? And when you learn this, brother, you become expert in conjugating fiel. If I write down any verb, uh, which is uh, which does not have any weak letters. I'll explain you what weak letters are later on. Then you will be able to conjugate it in the Madi. Huh? We have to learn Mudarya later. Yes, Sally? Madi is the past, past tense. tense. Madi is past tense. There's a nice joke, brother, that my teacher told me. Uh, he said, when children from India and Pakistan come, when students from India and Pakistan come, they have been drilled so much in madrasas to conjugate verbs, they become really very uh, proficient and they become expert. So this young fellow came and he said, you know, I know verbs very well, you know. Give me any verb and I'll conjugate. What did I say? He said, give me any verb and I'll conjugate. Okay. Teacher said, is that so? Okay. So he wrote a verb, three-letter verb, brother. No problem. He conjugated. Okay. 
He said, what did you do? I, he said, I conjugated the verb. You know, you just wrote this verb, you know. He said, it, there is no such thing in Arabic language. It does not exist. How do I know? <laughs> to me, it looked like a verb, so I conjugated it. <laughs> so, you know, even if it does not exist in Arabic language, I will still conjugate it. <laughs> now, brother, another thing I want to point out, that's going a little bit in detail, kind of a going in a little bit too much detail, but because I'll be repeating it all the time, you will, inshallah, remember it. If you don't remember today, it doesn't matter. It's normal. But let me repeat, brother. How many forms of verb in Madi? 14. According to 14 pronouns. Are you with me? How many forms? 14. Huh? Okay? 14. 14 pronouns. Every pronoun has its own form in Madi. Okay? But starting from Hua up to Huma, you saw that the Lam Kalima has a vowel sign. Okay? And then the file which is attached to it, does it, does it have anything on it? Sister Selma, what is on this Alif? There is no vowel sign. If there is no vowel sign, then what is on it? Sukun. We don't write, but we know there is a Sukun on it. You got the idea? If there, is, there are three vowel signs. Uh, if on any letter of alphabet there is no vowel sign, it means there is a sukun on it. We learned the first day. Uh, so there is a sukun here. And there is a sukun here. And there is a sukun here. So all the files which are attached, they have got sukun. So we have two which are mustatir. Uh, are you with me? Brother, I'm trying to explain you. It's a very deeper concept, but I want you, because this is a very special class, you know, and you are very special. I'll explain and explain again, inshallah, and you will, inshallah, understand well. And once you understand this concept, brother, things will become very, very easy. Huh? The scholars have divided those 14 forms of Mahdi into two groups. One group consists of five. Are you with me? Okay. In which I can see file in three of them. And the file has sukun. Huh? And then two are mustatir. But the scholars took that two also has a part of these, this five. And then they call this... Huh? They call it Sakin pronouns. What they call it? Sakin, Sakin pronouns. What they call it? Sakin. What is the meaning of it? Sukun. That the pronoun, this is a pronoun, this is a pronoun, and this is a pronoun. <coughs> so Sakin pronouns. Now come at the other group. See, I deliberately made two groups. Come at the other group. Do you see files there? What kind of a signs are there? Every file has a vowel. Huh? See? Na, ta, tu, tu, ti, tu, 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 na. Huh? Later on, you can break this tum also into different section. But for the time being, we will say the file is tum. Huh? Later on, when you go deeper and deeper, you can still have further explanation. That what does this mean doing here? But that we will do in book three. We won't bother about it now. Right now we say, Tuma is file, Tumma is file, Tunna is file. But as you can see, there is a vowel sign there. So this group is called, brother, Mutaharik pronouns. What do you call it? Huh? Okay. I will write down, brothers and sisters. Hmm? Sakin pronouns. Now, pronouns is Dama'ir. 
Damir is singular and Damair is plural. Sakin Damair, you can say. And then Mutta Harrik. Mutaharikun, you can say. Mutaharikun, pronouns. This division, later on when we learn the weak verbs, will become very handy in our hands. Very, very handy in our hands, brother. So all you have to remember, what is it? Sakin pronouns and mutaharik pronouns. Huh? Very soon it will, you will have a good grip on it. Sakin pronouns are the first five. Hua huma hum, hiya huma. That's it. And then what are mutaharik pronouns? Nine of them. Hunna, na, uh, hunna, anta. Antuma, Antum, Anti, Antuma, Antunna, Ana, Nahnu. They are called Mutaharik pronouns. Now, if I ask you, why do you call them Mutaharik pronouns? Because on the vowel, on the files, there is a vowel sign. Why do you call this Sakin pronouns? Because on the file, huh, which is the Damir, huh? remember, the files are all pronouns. The files are all pronouns. It has got, it has got sukun. But what is this alif doing here? It represents huma. What is this vow doing here? It is de, hum. So this vow is equal to hum. Alif is equal to huma. Sahih, brother? And then same is huma. And then if I say, what is this na doing here? It represents hunna. Huh? That's a pronoun hunna. And what is doing ta? It is anta. Are you with me? What is tuma? It is tuma. And tum, it is antum. What is ti? It is anti. And then tuma, antuma. And then tunna is antunna. And what is tu? I. Ana. And what is na? <coughs> Nahnu. Are you with me? I will be repeating them, brothers and sisters. If you find that today it is too much to swallow, don't worry. Huh? Huh? Mutaharik means having harakat. Okay. Vowel signs is in English. What do you call it in Arabic? Harakat. What do you call it? Harakat. Huh, Brother Muhammad, what do you call it? Harakat. Huh? And mutaharik means it has harakat. Mutaharik means it has harakat. Are you with me? Harakat. Harakat, you know, plural. Huh? Huh? Harakatun is singular, harakat is plural. Huh? Are you with me, brothers and sisters? If I say sakin pronouns, means those damir that come as a file with the verb, they have sukun on it. And if I say mutaharik pronouns, those pronouns, those damir, those damair, which come as a file, has got a proper vowel sign. Is it clear? I will repeat one more time. Huh? Sakin pronouns are those pronouns, brothers and sisters. It is only five of them. Okay, it's a group. But truly speaking, there are only three. The two are mustatir. They have, those damair, have sukun on top of them. Opposite to that, we have mutaharik pronouns, and those pronouns have proper vowel sign on it. That is why they are called. Now, do you know from this conclusion? If it is a sakin pronoun, then the third radical has a vowel sign. If it is a sakin pronoun, then the lam kalima has a proper sign. vowel sign. And if it is a mutaharik pronoun, 
then the Lam Kalima has to have a Sukun. Huh? So that will make things very easy. One more time. If it is a Mutaharik pronoun, then the third radical, which is Lam Kalima, should have Sukun. No, otherwise it will be incorrect. And if it is a Sakin pronoun, then it will have a proper vowel sign on Lam Kalima. No, brother, I, I have given you too much. I, I do I'll realize it. Huh? It's mixed up there. I'm sorry. Huh? I'm sorry. I think I'm mixed up. You got mixed up? I don't blame you, brother. You can blame the teacher. Because I, I gave you too much on one plate. If it is a mutaharik pronoun, then the lam kalima will have a... Lam kalima will have a... Sukun. I think I said it properly. You did not know. And yes. And it's supposed to have the vowel sign. Okay. Yes, yeah. but what I am saying that if it is a mutaharik pronoun, then the lam kalima will have sukun. Yes. I think I said it correctly. Yeah, Maybe we won't edit anything. <laughs> Are you with me, brother? If it is a mutaharik pronoun, when I say mutaharik means it has got already a no, already a vowel sign. When I say mutaharik pronoun, it means the pronoun has a vowel sign. Otherwise, I won't be calling it mutaharik. But when it is a mutaharik pronoun, what happens to the lam kalima? It gets sukun, brother. Are you with me now, brothers? <laughs> okay. okay. But don't worry, it was too much to swallow. Okay. Now, when it is a sakin pronoun, then the lam kalima will have vowel. That's all. Huh? Because we are only thinking about Lam Kalima. If I say Mutahari pronoun, it already tells you that there is a harakat on the pronoun. That's why I'm calling it Mutahari. The confusion is that the mind is working. Yeah, and then the Lam Kalima. Because you see the Sukun, you think that is Sakin. Okay, one more time. If it is a mutaharik pronoun, which means the pronoun has a vowel sign, what will happen to lam kalima? Has a sukun. sukun has a sukun. And if it is a sakin pronoun, which means it has a sukun on it, what happens to lam kalima? Has a vowel sign. So this you will remember. Brother, the benefit of this will come in book two. Book two will teach us three letter verbs. Completely, beautifully. That is the magic of Dr. Saab's book, you know. <coughs> book two will teach us everything that is to be learned uh, for three letter words. And in more than three letter words, we come to uh, book three, you know. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? No. Okay. Now, are you ready to do some more conjugations? Yes. Okay. From your mind, huh? If I write, brothers and sisters, if I write here, Zahaba, and I will write down also, Jalasa, and I will write down also, Raja. These are the four things that Dr. Abdurrahim mentions in the book, book one. I will also, there is a little space here, I will write down Kataba now. Are you with me? Hmm? And just to give you a little flavor, we will also do Shariba. What is the meaning of Shariba? He drank. Always he. Huh? Mashallah. Look at it, Shariba. What is on the Ain Kalima? Shariba. Kasra. Huh? So Ain Kalima has, can have Kasra or Dhamma. Huh? Huh? And then what about uh, the rest of it? They have all Ain Kalima Fata. So again I go back to one thing brothers and sisters. Remember three letter base form Fa Kalima first radical will always be Fata. Lam Kalima third radical will always have makes things very easy brother 
What is on the second radical and kalima? Anything. Anything. All three vowels can come. Huh? Okay, all three vowels can come. But the dhamma, the vowels with dhamma are very few and infrequent, you know. Okay, fine, brother. We start with zahaba. You got to do it mentally now. Ready? Zahaba, then zahaba, then zahabu, then zahabat, then zahabata. Now we come to hunna. What is the, that thing? Zahab, zahabna. What is it? Zahaba became zahab. Huh? Zahabna. Are you with me? And then zahabta. Then zahabtuma. Zahabtum. Zahabti. Zahabtuma. Zahabtunna. Zahabtu. Zahabna. Zahabna. They. Feminine. Went. Zahabta. You went. Huh? Zahabtum. You all went. I'm now skipping Huma. Huh? Zahabti. Sister. You went. Zahabtunna. You all have went. Zahabtu. I went. Zahabna. Huh? Okay. We went. Huh? Now it's very easy. If I ask you about Hassan. Azahabta ilal masjid al yom? Azahabta ilal masjid al yom? What is the translation? Azahabta ilal masjid al yom? Yes. Huh? If you went, what will you say? What will you say? Naam. What will you say? Zahabtu. I went. Did you get the idea? If I ask you, Sister Salma, Azahabti. Ilal Masjidi Al Yom? Naam. Naam. You'll say yes. And what will you use? Zahabtu. That two pronoun will come. We'll practice. We are going to practice. Are you with me? Huh? Now I am asking you all. Azahabtum huh? Ilal Masjidi Al Yom. Did you all go to the Masjid today? What will you say? Naam. And what kind of answer will be? Zahabna. See? Now we got to get used to these pronouns. Huh? Practice makes it perfect. You practice, you conjugate. But I, when I started doing this, you know, yesterday says, Dodo Goli, Dodo Goli, yes, pro. If you do every day two conjugation, huh? or more, minimum two, brother, you'll get stronger. You will become so strong, then it will surprise you. Huh? Okay, so that is it. Zahaba, he went. Zahabat, she went. Huh? Zahabu, they went. We are skipping Humana. Huh? Zahabu, they went. Zahabna, the ladies, they went. Zahabta, you went. Zahabtum, you masculine all went. Huh? Zahabti, she went. Lady, huh? Huh? you went. We are addressing a lady. Zahabtunna, you all went. Zahabtu, I went. Zahabna, we went. Huh? Okay, are you with me? So now we come to the point here. Kharajna. Kharajna. Are you with me? Huh? Remember yesterday I said, there is a fiel, the file has to be there. They cannot live without each other. Huh? They cannot live without each other. Fiel and file always live happily together. Huh? If you remove file from the fiel, then there is no fiel. It's destroyed. There is no fiel. They always come together. Okay? Fine. It reminds me of a song, you know. You'll have to bear with me, brother. This is a song, once upon a time, anytime you put on the radio, it would come. <laughs> 
but that was in Pakistan. I don't know whether you heard it in India or in Guyana or not, you know. Akele na jana Hame chhod kar tum Tumhare bina hum Bala kya jiyenge Don't leave me alone and go away. The fear is saying to the file. Don't go and leave me alone. Without you I can't survive. Then the file replies the same thing. Don't leave me alone and go away. Because without you, I cannot survive. Are you with me? So if there is a fear, there has to be a file. Has to be a file. Okay, brother, where is the file in Kharaja? Mostatir. Where is the file in Kharaja? Ali. Where is the file in Kharaju? Where is the file in Kharajat? Never ever say file. I got a weak heart. I'll get heart attack. Huh? So, file is mustatir. Huh? And then kharajata, where is the file? Ali. In kharajna, where is the file? Kharajta. Kharajtuma. Tuma. Kharajtum. Kharajti. Kharajtuma. Kharashtunna, Kharashtu, and Kharajna. Na. Now, if I tell you to analyze, uh, we start from here. Where is the verb? Kharaja. Where is the file? Mustatir. Now, if I say Kharaja, where is the verb? Kharaja. That is your verb. Where is the file? Aleph. If I say Kharaju, where is the verb? Kharaju, you will say. You will say Kharaju. And where is the file? Wow. If I say Kharajat, where is the verb? Kharajat. What is this ta doing here? Tautani si. Telling me the doer of the action was a female. Oh, where is the file? Mostatir. Kharajata. Analyze Kharajata. Where is the verb? Kharaja. What is next? Tautani si. Where is the file? Aleph. Now come to Motaharik pronouns from Hunna. Okay? Kharajna, where is the verb? Say it properly. Kharaj, with sukun. You won't say with? No. You will say kharaj. Kharaj is the verb. And where is the file? Na. Okay. Kharashta, where is the verb? Kharaj, where is the file? Ta. If I say Kharaj Tuma, where is the verb? Kharaj, where is the file? Tuma. Kharaj Tum, where is the verb? Where is the file? Tum. Kharaj Ti, where is the verb? Where is the file? Ti. Kharaj Tuma, where is the verb? Where is the file? Kharaj Tunna, where is the verb? And where is the file? Tunna. Kharaj Tu, where is the verb? Where is the file? Kharaj Na, where is the verb? And where is the file? Nah. Nah. Got it, brother and sister? Inshallah, you will find this very easy with little practice. And inshallah, inshallah, you will never ever forget. Okay? Huh? Because you remember, when you make a contract, we just signed a contract with Hunna. So we will always remember that contract. <laughs> now let us try and do Jalasa. Let us try the verbs. Huh? Ready? Jalasa, next one, Jalasa, Jalasu, Jalasat, Jalasata, Jalasna, Jalasta, Jalastuma, Jalastum, Jalasti, Jalastuma, Jalastunna, Jalastu, Jalasna. Now, now when you do it at home, you are taking extra sheets. When you will write it, write it, inshallah, by Monday you will be fluent, inshallah. Huh? Next one, brother. Raja. Raja. Ah. Raja. Oh. Raja. At. Raja. Ata. Rajana. Rajana. Because Lam Kalima got a sukun. Rajana. Rajata. Rajatuma. Rajatum, Rajati, 
رجعت مع رجعت رجعت رجع النعم ما شاء الله كتب 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 كتبت كتبت كتبنا كتبت كتبتما كتبتم كتبتي كتبتما كتبتنا كتبتو كتبنا Are you with me? You have to only understand one thing that you should pronounce these two in such a way that there is a distinction. They should not sound same. Kharajna and Kharajna. Zahabna and Zahabna. Jalasna and Jalasna. Katabna and Katabna. Huh? You have to differentiate between them. Well, I think this is enough for verbs. Now remember, brother, this is extra. Dr. Abdurrahim doesn't say that these things are to be done because if they were to be done, you would have found them, him mentioning in the key. I am doing this because I feel personally that if we slowly, slowly do verbs side by side, by the time you come into book two, you are so strong already in verbs. You have been studying it for a few weeks that you will find book two, brother. What will you find in book two? If you find book two very easy, what, what, what do I say always? Halwa Puri. Halwa Puri. <laughs> the book two will become Halwa Puri for you. Huh? Because you already know it, brother. Inshallah. Huh? So you will keep this in mind. Okay. Uh, if you have any questions about this, you can ask me in the break or afterwards, inshallah. Huh? Now, we come to lesson number five. Huh? Lesson number five is extremely important lesson. And, you know, this, this thing was so ex uh, important. We, did, we have been doing it for now two days. And I'm so glad that everybody in the class is present. So you uh, have a good idea of the verbs, you know, the base form, the fa kalima, ain kalima, lam kalima, first radical, second radical, third radical, we discussed. We will be repeating it again and again, brother. Because two verbs, we will do it here in that class, every day, inshallah. Practice it. Huh? Fine. Hiya huma hunna, huwa huma hum. Hiya humma hunna Anta antum antum Anta antum antum Anti antum antunna Anti antum antunna Ana nahnu Ana nahnu Huwa humma hum Hiya humma hunna, huwa humma hum, hiya humma hunna. <laughs> Inshallah, I will repeat it whenever I feel like, and it will only help you to memorize the 14 pronouns. Now we come to lesson number five. Something very, very important we are learning. Extremely important. Sometimes students get confused. But I hope, inshallah, all of you will understand it very well. Huh? Okay. Possessive case in which the position is described. Huh, brothers and sisters? How do you describe position in English? By using of. By using of, you describe position. You use possessive s. What do you use it, brother and sisters? Huh? You use it. You use it. Possessive s. Huh? Okay, brother and sister. You use it. Possessive s. Okay. This is how you describe. Pen of Muhammad or Muhammad's pen. Huh? Book of 
Muhammad, Muhammad's book. House of Hamid, Hamid's house. Huh? Are you with me, brother and sister? Okay. How do you do in Arabic? Because there is no equivalent of of or possessive as in Arabic. There is a relation between two nouns, possessive, indicating possession. Okay. But then we have a special construction, and it is called al idafa, al idafatun. Huh? What is the special indication? Relation? Indication? Now this is a technical term, brother. al idafatu. Huh? Actually speaking, idafatu means addition or an accession. Okay? But don't worry. Just think about idafa, which represents, you know, possessive case. Idafa represents... Possessive case. Hmm? Here is Kitab. And here is Muhammad. Okay. I can say Al Kitab. The book of Muhammad. So how do I do? How do I make possessive case? Huh? Look at very carefully. Kitabu hmm? Muhammad then If I say Kitabu Muhammad then what is the translation Kitab of Muhammad book of Muhammad got the idea huh? book of Muhammad if I say pen of Muhammad kalamu Muhammadin. Huh? Muhammad. Let me write down properly, brothers and sisters. Let me write down properly. Muhammadin. I think I should not put Shadda here. Why am I writing Shadda here? No, no, I have to, I have to make it Din. I have to make it Din properly. Okay. Muhammadin, Kalamu Muhammadin. Uh, if I say House of Muhammad, Baitu Muhammadin. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Huh? There are two nouns in possessive case, or you will say in Idafa. There are two nouns. Okay. The first noun is called mudaf. What is it called? Mudaf. Mudafun, you can say. Huh? In possessive case. Or you will say in idafa. There are two nouns. Okay. The first noun is called mudaf. What is it called? Mudaf. Mudafun, you can say. Huh? And the second noun is called Mudafun ilayhi. But you know, we say Mudafun ilayhi. In short, you will always say Mudaf ilayhi. Hmm? 
No, it's uh, mudafun ilayhi. Ilayhi. Okay. Ilayhi. Okay. Now we want to go and observe it. I observe here that the mudaf ilayhi, huh? okay, which is also in the key you will find as a possessor. Huh? As a possessor. What do you see, brother? I have been always telling you that Arabic noun declines in three you know, states, cases. So what is it? Majroor. Huh? Then. It is then. Majroor. Always. Always, always, always majroor. Always majroor. What is majroor? Mudaf lehi. Remember, after harf jar, ism is majroor. And then after mudaf, mudaf lehi is always Majroor. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Fine. No, 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 there is no half chair here. Off. off is there. Yeah, but in Arabic there is no off. Huh? Well, that is the preposition in English which is understood here. Yeah, but I, I think we should not take that into consideration. Okay. Huh? We, we just go to Mudaf Mudafili. Here, brother. What do you see? Yes, brother Farooq. Can you pronounce the first consonant? What is it? Mudaf. Mudafun. Mudafun ilayhi. But we say mudaf ilayhi. Mudafun ilayhi. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Mudafun ilayhi. Fine. Mudafun ilayhi is always, always majroor. Always majroor. Okay, what about mudaf? What do you see in mudaf? It's marfu, but it can be mansub also, and it can be majroor also. It possible, hmm? depending on the situation in the sentence. Okay, but let us now, for the time being, consider it as a marfu because you see dhamma there. What else do you see? What else? Mashallah, mashallah. There is no al there. So, in other words, rule is mudaf cannot have al. Mudaf, sister Naima, cannot have al. No. It cannot. Mudaf ilahi can have al. Hmm? If I just change this, brother and sister, to look at it, brother. Kitabul Mudarri Si. Are you much always? Huh? Kalamu Al Mudarri Si. Are you with me? Baitu. Al Mudar Ri Si. Are you with me? Whether it is a single kasra or is it a tanween, but it is majroor. Huh? What is majroor, sisters? Mudafilehi. Okay, Mudafilehi is called possessor. What is it called? Possessor. It is all in the key. But I read the key. Huh? Read the key every single day. Keep next to your bedside. Read the key. Huh? And then, brothers and sisters, what is mudaf? It has no al. And it cannot have tanween. It cannot have tanween. No tanween. Huh? It cannot have tanween, brother. Are you with me, Brother Abdul Qadir? Mudaf ilahi is always majroor. It can be definite or it can be indefinite. If it is indefinite, it will have tanween. If it is definite, it will have only single kasra. 
But the mudaf can never have al and can never have tanmi. Can never. That's the rule. So this is your situation of possessive case. Huh? Okay. Tell me how shall I write down book of Allah? Ah, see? Kitabullah hi. Kitabullah hi. How do I say uh, house of Allah? Baitul. We all know Baitullah. You, you always say, but now today you will say Baitullah hi. Huh? Today you will say Baitullah hi. Okay? See, we are learning the proper declension. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? We are learning proper declension. Have you ever thought about this? When you, when you, how do you say Suratul Asr? What is the first ayah? Wal Asr. Have you ever noted down what is written there? It's called Wal Asri. It's Majroor. Huh? But you always say Wal Asr. But look, go home and look. You will find Kasra there. Wal Asri. Why Asri? As a student, we will ask why there is a Kasra. And there has to be a reason. Uh, no, this is different. Right? Okay. I'm only pointing out that there is a Kasra there, but you never notice it. Huh? Inshallah, I'll explain you. And when you will learn this, Sister Salma, uh, you'll be amazed at the beauty of the Quran and also amazed at the, at the fact that you know now what you did not know before. Uh, you will know now what you did not know before. And it will always surprise you. You know, there are so much beautiful things in Quran, we just take it for granted. You know? So, coming, that, uh, brother, uh, I, I was just trying to explain you that when you say Kitabullah, you never say Kitabullahi. Mm -hmm. huh? But it is Kitabullah. And I was just giving you an example. Walasr. But it is Walasri. Why? We will, inshallah, check it. It has got no relation with uh, mudaf, mudaf. Idafa, possessive case, is the relation between two nouns, which indicates possession. Huh? In English, we use of or possessive s. Are you with me? Is it correct? How do you say uh, the house of, uh, I say house of teacher. How do you say in English? House of teacher. House of the teacher, or the house of teacher, okay? Uh, the book of teacher, the pen of teacher. Uh, you always say like that, okay? So you use of, or you say teacher's house, teacher's pen, teacher's book. You use possessive S. Are you with me? But in Arabic, we have these two nouns, book and teacher. Or book and Muhammad. We have these two nouns. Book and teacher. Or book and Muhammad. You will say. Kitabu. al si. Or if it is Tanween here. Muhammadun. Si Muhammadun. It will become Kitabu. Muhammadin. Kitabu Muhammad Din. Are you with me, brother? Yeah, yeah. Kitabu Muhammad Din. So, brother Farooq, this part, which now in Arabic we call Mudaf Ilehi, in English you can say possessor, who owns the thing, owner or possessor, will always be. Majroor. Always be majroor, you know. That's why I emphasize learning those three cases, you know. Uh, marfu, Mansub, Majroor. Huh? Mansub is coming in book two. Okay. Majroor will come now. 
If I say pen of Muhammad, then kalamu Muhammadin. Pen of teacher, al kalamul mudarrisi, because it's al mudarrisi. Huh? Are you with me? Al mudarrisu became al mudarrisi. Kalamul mudarrisi. Kalamul will join it. Okay. Okay. The house of teacher. What will you say? Baitul mudarri si. Baitul mudarri si. House of Muhammad. Baitul Muhammadin. Okay. So, coming back to our basic point. Mudafilahi will always be majroor. Mudaf can be marfu, can be mansub, and can be majroor. Huh? Okay? When you will see ex- the examples in front of you, you will inshallah figure out. And then, brothers and sisters, the most important thing, the most important thing to bear in mind is the mudaf, which is thing possessed. Or thing owned. Huh? It's all in the key, brother. It's all in the key. Thing possessed will never have al. Never. And it will never have tanwi. That's all. If you can understand this, alhamdulillah, we go to the lesson, brothers and sisters. And we try to do something. Yes, brother Farooq. Uh, what's the difference between like, when would you use Tanwin uh, and when would you use Tanwin? Brother, if the noun, if the noun uh, is definite, then you won't use Tanwin. Except if it is a proper noun. Uh, if it is a proper noun. Like the teacher. How do I say in its marfu form? Al mudarri su. Make it into mansu form? Al mudarri sa. Make it into majroor form? Al mudarri si. Muhammadun. Make it into marfu form? Muhammadun. Mansu form? Muhammadan. Majroor form? Muhammadan. I will, after the break, I will show you a page that you should do this weekend, inshallah. Huh? I, we have given you an exercise in the handout. Okay. Can I ask you one question? Yes. Um, now we say, supposing there's a pen, now we know the particular teacher, there's a student, you don't know which student's pen it is. So, Kalamu Talibi. Talibin. Talibin. You need so a pen of a, uh, we know a pen of a student. Of we don't know who's. So we can use that. Of course it will come. Okay. But most of the time it will be definite. Okay. But indefinite is possible, of okay. course. Of course. Okay. Of course it's possible. But the page number 28 in your book. 28. Huh? 27. Page 28. We are not going to the main lesson. I'm going to the exercises. Huh? I'm going to the exercises so that I want you to get a little stronger. Okay. Huh? Exercise number two. After having understood this, brothers and sisters, let us... Make an effort. It's very easy. There are two nouns on your right hand side. Huh? And there are two columns, brother. Yes. Huh? On the right hand side, huh? there are two nouns. And all of them are marfu. But as you can see, the first noun is indefinite. And the second noun is so it is definite. Mashallah, that, that was excellent, Brother Samad. That, I want you to feel that way. You see two nouns, Kalamun and Muhammadun. Is Kalamun definite, indefinite? Indefinite. indefinite. Is Muhammadun definite, indefinite? Definite. definite huh? So you must feel that way. Huh? So all the names are definite nouns. Huh? And there are indefinite nouns in front of it. Are you with me, Brother? Yeah. Huh? Fine, Brother. We have been given an example. Kitabun 
Muhammadun. Are you with me? Now you make a possessive case. Make a idafa. What is given here? Kitabu Muhammadin. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Okay. Now, follow that example and follow the explanation that was given to you. Kalamun Hamidun. Ha. How will you translate? Hamid. Pen. Hamid's pen or pen of Hamid. Now, Baitun Abba Sun. How will you translate? Baitu Abba Sin. Do it, brother and sister. You got to do it properly at home, huh? Gurfatun Aliyun. Gurfatun is a room. Huh? Gurfa tu Ali Yen. Are you with me, brother Farooq? Can you do it, brother? Inshallah. Huh? Just do this exercise. Brother, sometimes the the now, as I said in the beginning, this is a this is not Halwa Puri. <laughs> but these are hard chickpeas. But we will boil a little extra and make a hummus out of it. Huh? Okay? Okay? Inshallah. So Daftarun Saidun. Daftaru Saidin. Are you with me? Daftaru Saidin. Notebook of Saeed. Okay? Next one, brother. Mindilun Yasirun. What will you say? Mindilu Yasirin. Sister Fatima, are you comfortable? You can do the exercise? Sister Naima, I'm not too much worried. Because you are a team here. You got... Eh? <laughs> so you are very strong as a team. Eh? You can help each other, inshallah. Okay. Kamisun Ammarun. Kamisun Ammarin. Kamisu Ammarin. Translate, Brother Abdul Qadir. Shirt of Ammar. See, you said off. But there was no off in Arabic. Eh? So in this... Construction, we get the meaning of off. Okay, brother? Okay, now. Sarirun Khalidun. Sariru Khalidun. Got the idea? Masha. Now come to the next column. Now we have a definite noun with Al. Are you with me? Two nouns, but one of them is a definite with Al. Okay? So... <coughs> Maktabul mudar maktabun. First noun is maktabun. The second noun is al mudarri su. So what will happen now, brother? Maktabul mudarri si. One. Huh? They, see, brother Farooq, it's a single. No tanwin here because al is there. Okay? Al and tanwin cannot come together. Huh? And especially what we are learning here. That mudafilahi is always majroor. If it is a with al, then it will have a single tasra. If it is a proper name, then it can have tanin. Okay. Next one, miftahun al baytu. How will you now change that? Miftahul bayti. What is the meaning of miftahul bayti? Key of the house. House key. Miftahul. Baiti. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Next one, brothers and sisters. Dukanun attajiru. Dukanut tajiri. Dukanut tajiri. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Oh, very good. What is next one, brother? Baitun al muhandisu. Al muhandisu. Baitun al muhandisu. How will you now change it, brother? Baitul. Mohandisi. I think this is turning into Halwa Puri now. <laughs> okay, it's easy, inshallah. Ismul wala, ismun al waladu. How will you say? Ismul waladi. Ismul waladi. What will you say? Ismul waladi. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? How will you translate? Name of no, name of the boy. Ab, 
the boy. Huh? Name of the boy. Because it is definite. Huh? Very good. Oh, next one is very easy. Kitabun Allahu. Kitabullahi. Now, if I say Kitabullahi, what will you say? Mudaf, Mudaf ilahi. Huh? We have to get used to this term. Mudaf, Mudaf ilahi. Huh? Like, just like Jar Majroor, we will say Mudaf, Mudaf ilahi. Mudaf, Mudaf ilahi. Huh? Inshallah. Very good, brother. Bintun at Tabibu. Bintut Tabibi. What will you say? What kind of a compound is this? Two words? Mudah, mudah It's a compound. We, now we can call it as a compound. Two words. Mudah, mudah yeah. Fine, brother and sister. Miftahun asayyaratu. What will you say? Miftahus sayyarati. Miftahus sayyarati. Translate, brothers. Car key. Huh? Are you with me, brothers and sisters? You got the idea? Huh? Yes. Proper noun is the name of a person, a thing. Farooq is a proper noun. Hassan is a proper noun. Muhammad is a proper noun. Okay? Are you with me? I'm not taking uh, brother uh, Abdul Samad's name. I'm keeping it in reserve. Huh? And I'll explain you the meaning of his name later on. Okay? Uh, inshallah. You'll be surprised by the things that you didn't know, you will know today, inshallah. Huh? Okay. Brothers and sisters, maybe I should explain now. It will be nice now. Brother? Brother, look at this. Abdun Allah who make it into idafa huh? Abdullah he. okay now I say Abdun So we have here brother Abdus Samad Samadi, but we don't say Abdus Samadi, but it is Abdus Samad. I always prefer to call him Abdus Samad because that is the proper name. Abdus Samad. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So what is his name, brother Farooq Abdus Samad? Brother Mudaf and Mudaf Ilahi. <laughs> Are you with me? <laughs> Don't call him Brother Mudaf Mudafili. <laughs> but his name is, what is his name? Mudaf Mudafili. You did not know that, Brother Abdul Samad. Oh, here we have another Mudaf Mudafili. What is his name? Abdul Qadi Ri. Abdul Qadi Ri. Another Mudaf Mudafili. Did you know you are Mudaf Mudafili? No, today you know you are Mudaf Mudafili. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Yeah. Huh? Mm -hmm. huh? Uh, you know, a uh, slave of Allah, and Samad is somebody who is very independent. He is not, he does not depend on anybody. The whole creation depends on Allah. But Allah is free from all these depend, uh, wants and dependency. Uh, he is above everything, you know. We need Allah. Allah doesn't need us. We need Allah. Okay? Yes, brother. What's the translation of Mudaf? Brother, uh, don't worry about that now. Huh? In simple English, brother, you say, thing possessed. Possess and possessor. Possessed and possessor. That will be the proper thing now. Huh? Are you with me, brothers? Possess and possessor. Thing possessed, thing owned, and owner. Like that. Brother, what is this?
What is this, brother? Muda Muda Filehi. Are you with me? What is it? Muda Muda Filehi. Muda Muda Filehi. Kitabul Lahi. Now I am coming and putting here fi. Mashallah. See, harf jar. No, you got to tell me. If I say harf jar, you should shout at me. Harf jar, ism majroor. You will say ism majroor. Harf jar, ism majroor. Huh? So harf jar came. We should have ism majroor now. So what happened now? Fi kitabillah. You know why it happened. Huh? Okay, if I say min, now, now if I say to you, uh, Baytullahi, uh, Baytullahi, now I am putting min, what will you say? Min, bil Baytullahi. You got the idea? Uh, so this is, that is why I told you Mudaf can have a Dhamma, Mudaf can have a Kasra, Mudaf can have a Fatha, depending on what kind of a role it's being played. But, brothers and sisters, remember, Mudaf Ilehi will always, always, always be Majrur. It is always Majrur, Kalas. No change there. So from Kitabullahi, we came to Fi Kitabillahi. Huh? And from Baitullahi, we, we came to Min Baitullahi. So you can use any name. Huh? Now I'm going to give you a little else. Huh? It will surprise you. Huh? What is it, brother? Ismullah. Mudaf mudafili. Huh? Brother, now I am telling you, I am using B. What will happen now? Harfchar is a major. B is with or by. What do you say every time? Bismillah. What is Bismillah? Huh? First thing, brother, first thing is Jar Majroor. Are you with me? What is Bismi? Jar Majroor. Now, this explanation I'll give you. And I'll make a funny story out of it. Huh? I'll make a funny story out of it. It will make you laugh, inshallah. Okay. So, uh, we say Bismillah all the time. So, brother, why it is Ismi? Bismi. Why? Because Hafshar came in front. But Ismullah is Mudaf Mudafili. There is much more to learn in this, brother, with reference to analysis. Inshallah, we will learn. Uh, not not uh, now, but later on, inshallah. <coughs> but the point before we go for a break is that mudaf ilahi will always be majroor. Uh, and brother and sister, if it is definite noun with single kasra, if it is uh, otherwise, it can have a tanveen kasra. Mudaf, okay, will always... I mean, be without al. No al on mudaf. And no tanween on mudaf. But it can have different vowel signs, depending. Kitabullahi, fi kitabillahi. Kitabul baytullahi, min baytullahi. Okay? Inshallah. Is it clear? Little tired now? Huh? We need batteries to be recharged. 
Inshallah, let us take a break, Inshallah. Have a tea break. I want you to open the handout book, page number five. What do you see on top of it? Masculine and feminine. And what else? Cases. Cases. Huh? I would love to hear from you. I can see dun dan din there. What do you see there? Dun dan din. <laughs> what is dun dan din, brother? Marfu mansub majrun. Are you with me, brothers? Fine. Now you see there are nouns given. The first the nouns are with tanmin. Huh? What is the first noun? Muslimun. And then how will you write down? Musliman. Mansuf form. And then Muslimin. But when you have a Mansuf form, brothers and sisters, huh? Musli. Musli. And then I am adding here Alif. I am adding here Alif. And making it Muslim man. But I added Alif. Are you with me? That is a spelling rule. Only when it is indefinite. You will be adding Alif. Make sure you do it right. Huh? How will you write down Muslim man with Alif? What is the next noun brother? Sadiqun. If you write down Sadiqan. How will you write down Sadiqan brothers? Huh? You will write down sa, di, ka, and then you will add alif. Okay? With two fatah. Okay? It's a spelling rule, so you should not forget that. Huh? What's the next noun, brother? Alimun. Alimun, how will you write down mansu form? Ali man. How will you write down Ali man? Okay, brother. A, li, Meme and again Aleph with two fata. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Yes, Sister Fatima? No, no, no. Only if it is indefinite. Only if it is indefinite. Then only Aleph will come. But not, there are certain exceptions. I will just tell you right away. Okay, let's go to brother. Muslimun, then Musliman, and what will be next one? Muslimin. Muslimin. Now, this is masculine, Muzakkar. How do you make a noun, Muannas? What do you do? Tamarbuta. Are you with me? So it will become Muslimatun. Are you with me? Muslimatun. And then make it Mansub, Muslimatan. Now, Sister Fatima, no Alif here. When there is a tamarbuta, you don't put alif. That's a rule here. A tamarbuta, even if it is indefinite, you will not put alif. But otherwise, you will put alif. Huh? See, you have here say kitabun. Make it mansub. How will you write kitaban? How will you write kitaban? Ki ta uh, ban. But you will give. Alif, okay. Are you following me, brothers? Are you following me? This is the spelling rule. Huh? When it is indefinite and it is mansu, the tanmin is coming, you will give alif. Huh? Only when tanmin is coming, we will give alif. Fine, brothers and sisters? Okay, then muslima tun, muslima tan, no alif, and muslima tin. Brother Farooq, are you with me? You follow. I want you to do the whole thing on weekend, brother. Uh, now come with Al. This is Fatima. What is it? Al Muslimu. All these nouns you will do again with Al. Al Muslimu. And next will be Al Musli. Ma. And then it will be Al Musli. Me. Uh, because Al has no tanween. Al Muslimi. Make it Muannas. Al Muslima. Tu. Al Muslima. Al Muslima T. No Alif. You got to do it. Are you with me? Easy. Okay? But doing this will make you strong and you will retain in your mind. And when you will write, you won't make a mistake. This is your homework for the weekend. Huh? Okay. Now, brothers and sisters, having said that, we come to the main 
main lesson. Page 27. We will not try to analyze. We will not try to analyze questions. But we will try to analyze uh, the statements. Now, I again want to tell you. Okay. Jumla Asmiya begins with a noun. We are looking in Jumla Asmiya. Muftada and Khabar. Muftada is always marfu. Khabar is always marfu. But then we learn that khabar can be of different kinds. If it is one word, then it is marfu. If it is not one word, instead, if it is a compound of jar majru, then that shibu jumla becomes khabar. Huh? And we will learn one more rule in this lesson, slowly. But if it is one word, it will always be marfu. Only one word. Watch for it, brother. Okay. A kitabu Muhammadin haza. Only this much. What's the translation of this? A kitabu Muhammadin haza. Is this Muhammad's kitab? Are you with me? Is this Muhammad's kitab? Saeed is asking Yasir. Ya Yasiru. Ya Yasiru. Are you with me? See, Yasirun became Ya Yasiru. That is the rule which we will study in this lesson. It's very simple. But then, if it is a noun with Tanween, remember, if it is a noun with Tanween, and if you put Ya, which is called Harfunida, particle of uh, uh, calling someone, Ya, huh? okay, then the Tanween will change into single Dhamma. It's very simple. It's coming in the lesson. But we'll learn it, inshallah. So, Yasirun became Ya Yasiru. Huh? It's simple. This is very simple. What is the answer? Yasir says, La. Hada kitabu mam, huh? hamidin. Translate, brothers and sisters. This is book of Hamid. This is, I want you to use off instead of Hamid's book, use off all the time. Okay. Huh? For our un better understanding. Brother, what kind of a sentence is this? A Nominal sentence. Huh? Where is Muftita? Hada. Hada. Huh? And where is Khabar? Tell me, Kitabu? No. Kitabu only. Why? If the khabar is one word, mufrad, it has to be marfu. So, what is uh, here one word which is marfu? It is kitabu only. Are you with me? Okay. Now, in madrasa, you know, they teach, but sometimes, you know, they, they follow their own rules, you know. Since last three, four hundred years, many scholars also wrote grammar books in Urdu, and other languages, brother. Uh, and they were cut off from the main Arab society, you know. And they carried on the job of Dawa and teaching Quran and Islam. And sometimes they make some errors in, in their explanation. So one of the students came from Madrasa. And when Dr. Abdurrahim was teaching him this sentence, you know, uh, where is Khabar? Uh, he said, Kitabu uh, Hamidin. But Dr. Abdurim said, But Khabar has to be Marfu, you know. He said, No, my Ustad said the Khabar is Kitabu Hamidin. Kalas. <laughs> but according to the rules, Khabar, when it is one word, it is always Marfu. So where is one word here? Kitabu. So, kitabu is your khabar. Nothing else. But then we will write down. What we will write down? We will explain. Haza muftada. Kitabu khabar. Wa huwa mudaf. And it is mudaf. Are you with me? What will you write down? Wa huwa mudaf. 
and then we will write down Hamidin uh, Mudafilehi. If I write down in a simple way, brothers and sisters, a simple, simple analysis. Brothers and sisters, if I write down detailed analysis, uh, okay, if I write down detailed analysis, then you will be looking towards the door. You say, no, no, I don't want to learn. Uh, when I, whenever I used to uh, uh, explain some difficult rule, and when I was teaching in Jami Masjid, the in charge was Brother Amjad. You know, I say, Brother Amjad, have you locked the doors? Because I'm teaching a very difficult grammar rule. I don't want people to run out of the door. <laughs> anyway, inshallah, we'll learn the slowly. It's a simple thing, brother. Here, okay. Haza. What is Haza? What is Haza? Mubtada. Mubtada. Huh? Mubtada. Un. Huh? It's Mubtada. Okay, and what is the next one? Kitabu. Huh? See how I'm writing? Kitabun. Huh? While I, what, is, what will I write down? Khabarun. Huh? Wa and huwa. It is mudafun. Are you with me? This is a simple way. The, the detailed one we will learn in book 3, inshallah. And then, what is the next one? Hamidin. And what is Hamidin, brothers and sisters? Mudafun ilayhi. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Huh? Got the idea? Mudafun ilayhi. Now on page number 23, page 23 in your handout, we have given you four pages of simple analysis. Huh? You can see it from time to time. Are you with me, brother? You can see that thing from time to time. Huh? And this will show you how we do simple analysis. Are you with me, Sister Salma? Huh? Inshallah, you will look at it. Huh? But this is the formula. Hada kitabu hamidin. If you have to analyze it, it is a jumla ismiya. We are looking for muftida. Where is muftida? Haza. Okay, where is the khabar? Kitabu. But at the same time, kitabu is mudaf. So we mention that it is mudaf. And if you mention mudaf, then you got to mention mudaf. And you cannot leave it in, uh, in the middle. Okay? Are you with me, brother? Mm -hmm. Fine. Very good. So, page 23 at home, you will go through it and try to understand. It's very simple. You know? It's very simple. Some of them, we have done it. Some of them, we haven't done it. But when we do it, you will understand, inshallah. Fine. Aina kitabu Muhammadin. Translate, brother. We are not analyzing because it's a question. Where is the book of Muhammad? Okay. Huwa. Huwa. Alal Maktabi. Okay, brother. Let us analyze it. Is it Jumla Ismiya? Yes. What is Huwa? Muftada. It is Marfu. Remember? It's a Marfu. Huh? Where is the Khabar? Alal Maktabi. What is Alal Maktabi? Jar Majur Shibu Jumla. Are you with me? Jar Majur Shibu. And what is Hunaka? Over there. What is over there? It is called Zarf. What is it? Adverb. Huh? Now, there are two kinds of adverbs. And I will be telling you every time it comes, I will be informing you. Huh? It is Zarf. Zarfun. What is it, brother? Zarf. I don't want to go in detail, but today you say Zarf. Later on, after two, three sessions, I will then define. There are two kinds of Zarf, brother. In English, we say adverb of time 
an adverb of place. place. Huh? Okay. And in, in Arabic we say zarfu zaman and zarfu makan. It's very simple. Huh? So hunaka means over there. Does it tell you about time? No. no. It tells you about place. place. So it's a zarfu makan. That's all. This is how will you explain, huh, brother? How will you explain the sentence? Huh? You will say, Huwa muftada ala ala al maktabi jar majrur shibu jumla khabar. And hunaka zarf. Or zarfu makan. You want me to write? Okay. Now, okay, I'll write down. I will write down many things now. Since you have said, says Salma, here I'm writing, watch it carefully. What did I write, brothers and sisters? Read first one. What did I write? Zarfu zamanin. Two words. It's a compound. What do you see in that compound? Mudaf mudaf lehi. Do you see? Translate. Huh? Adverb of time. Huh? Are you with me? Next one. Read it. Zarfu makanin. What is it? Mudaf, mudaf. Do, do you see mudaf, mudaf in a connection? Huh? You see? Huh? And then, uh, okay, then what's the next one? Harfu atfin. Brother Hassan, you asked me the first day this, I think. Huh? What, what is this harfu atfin? I did not explain him because he had not learned mudaf, mudaf. Huh? Huh? What is harfu atfin? Mudaf, mudaf ilahi. Huh? How will you translate? Particle of linking. Are you with me? Particle of linking. So these are all the terms. Now you will be very familiar and you will understand. Are you with me, brother? Because now today you know mudaf and mudaf ilahi. Huh? <clears throat> brother, you got to practice. You got to practice and this conjugation... Are you with me, brothers and sisters? You got to practice conjugation. Okay? And so that you know where the fail is and where the file is. And you got to understand the concept of muda, muda, filahi very well. If you won't work hard, brother, then you will be singing. You know what will you be singing? You know what you will be singing? Hawa me urta jai. What did I say? Hawa me urta jai, mera fail or mera file, ho ji, ho ji. Then everything will be flying, not staying in your head. Idhar udhar lehrai. Everywhere they are, in the, floating in the breeze. Idhar udhar lehrai, mera mudaf or mudaf ilai, ho ji, ho ji. I just made a fun song, you know, because the original song is Hawa me urta jaye mera lal dupatta mal mal ka. Ho ji. Okay? So I change into to tell you, you know, if you won't work hard, then you will be singing this. Hawa me urta jaye mera fiel or mera file. Ho ji, ho ji. Idhar udhar lairai mera mudaf or mudaf ilayhi. Ho ji, ho ji. Now this is the song of our childhood. So you young people, you have not heard them, you know. Have you heard this, Sister Salma? You have heard this, huh? Okay. You must have heard yes. this, you know. <laughs> okay. Anyway, brother. So work hard, brother. This is an opportunity. Don't miss it. Work very hard. Put your heart and soul into it, inshallah. And Allah will bless you with success. Huh? This is a golden opportunity. Should not miss it. But the faru. Uh, what's the translation of uh, Zarfu Makan? Zarfu Makan? 
adverb of place. Huh? Okay, let me write down. Huh? Okay, good thing you asked me. Okay, brother, adverb of time. Adverb of place. Makan. And then this is particle of linking. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Got it? Hmm? Atfin. Atfin. You know Ataf? Which is conjunction? Huh? Atafun? Atfin. Atfin. Harfu Atfin. Huh? Okay, brother, we go now. Aina daftaru ammarin. Translate, brother. Where is the notebook of? Amma. Fine. Huwa ala maktabil mudarrisi. Now I think I have to tell you a story. I thought it won't come so soon, but it has come very soon. So I have to tell you a story now, brother. Brother, here is the thing. Mak tabul mudar ri si. What is this, brother and sisters? Mudaf mudaf ilahi. Then the sentence is huwa. Now the jumla ismiya starts. Huwa. Are you with me? Huwa. What is huwa? Muftada. Huh? Are you comfortable with Muftada now? Huh? Brother, we got to become friendly with Muftada. Huh? They are very important. Okay? Muftada. Where is the khabar? Ala al maktabi. Ala maktabi. Ala maktabi. If there was. It was, if there was no mudaris, then I would have said alal maktabi. But because there is a chain there, I cannot say alal maktabi. I say ala. Okay, fine. I put here ala. What will happen now? Harf jar has come. What will happen now? It will become maktabi. Huh? And then Mudarisi will stay as a Mudarisi. Now, brothers and sisters, we have to understand something. And I know today I have given you a lot in explanation, but I will be repeating them from time to time. There are two compounds here. How many compounds? Two. two. First compound is Ala Maktabi. And the second compound is Maktabil Mudaris. Okay? Fine. So I'm going to now do this, brother. Alal Maktabi. Okay, brothers and sisters. And then I will try to do in green. Inshallah, it will come out okay, brother. I will do it hard, brother. Brother Akbar said, write it hard. So it will come, inshallah, better. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? I made two groups. Huh? So look at it, brother. Ala harjar. Harjar isam majroor. Where is the isam majroor? Maktabi. And then maktabil mudarisi. What is maktabil mudarisi? Mudah mudahili. So in other words, Maktabi is playing two roles. What is it doing? Two roles. Two roles. It is playing two roles. Huh? The first role is that it is Ism Majroor. What is the second role? Muda. Mashallah, Masha. That was excellent. So what is Maktabi doing? Maktabi has changed himself into Dilip Kumar. Double role. Double role. Ramosham. <laughs> Maktabi is playing double role now, like Ramosham. Huh? On one hand, it is playing the role of Ism Majroor. And then it is turning around and 
making himself mudab. Brother, you understood, mashallah, with ease, inshallah. Do you understand? Abu Dhul Qadir, Brother Faru. Look at it, two compounds, but maktab is playing two roles. So this is how will you, if you had to analyze it, you will say, Allah, what is Allah? Brother, what is Arfu Jarrin? Mudaf, Mudafili. How will I translate? Particle of? Huh? Pulling down. Particle of pulling. Huh? Which is, when you say Harfu Jar, it means preposition. What does it mean? Preposition. But Harfu Jar itself is a Mudaf, Mudafili. Huh? It's itself Mudaf, Mudafili. See, now you understand. When you see it in this form, look at the Quran. Look at handouts. There are many verses from the Quran we have put where the mudaf mudafili is coming in Quran. Huh? Okay, are you with me, brother? So you say Allah harfujar, and what will you say? Maktab is some majru. But then you will again say wahua mudaf. What will you say? Uh, double roll, na, brother. Huh? See, this thing, brothers and sisters, this thing you will always be remember. Remember. What will you remember? Wahua mudaf. Wahua mudaf. And it is also mudaf. So this is what it is. Got the idea? Huh? So we go to the sentence. Who uh, Ala maktabil mudarrisi. Half jar. Jar is to pull. Whether it was Dhamma, it made it into Kashra. Okay, that's pulling. <laughs> when the, when the half jar will come, it will always pull the last vowel sign down. <laughs> but unless the noun is stubborn and doesn't want to go down, we got a lot of stubborn. <laughs> <laughs> they are stubborn. They will not go down. Right. Got the idea, brother? Inshallah. Oh, it will always pull the last vowel sign down. Right. Huh? But unless the noun is stubborn and doesn't want to go down, we got a lot of stubborn. Even <laughs> they are stubborn. They will not go down. Right. Got the idea, brother? Inshallah. Okay. Kalamu man haza. What is the meaning of man? Who? Whose pen? Pen of who? Huh? Is this? Ya Ali. So how will you translate kalamu man? This is also mudaf mudafili. What is man brother? It is also noun. No. It's not min. Remember. It's not min. It's man. Man haza. Man zalika. Are you with me? So, kalamu man. Kalamu man. Kalamu man. Brothers and sisters. Kalamu. And then it is man. Okay. I don't want to go into too much detail. But when you say kalamu, it's not kalamun. Is it kalamun? No. Skalamu. Whenever you will see a single Dhamma, the thought will occur in your mind. Maybe it is Mudaf. Are you with me? Maybe it is Mudaf. Because only Mudaf can have a single Dhamma. There is no Al, there is no Tanwin. A single Dhamma, then maybe it is Mudaf. Huh? And then we need Mudaf Ilehi. Where is Mudaf Ilehi? Man. But I don't see here kasra. Because this is a noun uh, which, which has, you know, fixed, fixed appearance. Because, brother, there are, you know, in our handout, we have given you some explanation that the nouns perform different functions according to where they are, they are placed in the Sentence, okay. Just like us, okay. The noun can be Dhamma. Noun, you know, today the time is flying. 
I am surprised it's already, uh, uh, you know, 15 minutes left. Okay. Okay, brothers and sisters, here are we. We'll do as much as we can. The rest, you'll try to do it at home. And then the balance we'll do on Monday, inshallah. Okay. Now, here it is, brother. If you are invited to Walima, what do you wear? If you are invited to a Walima party, what will you wear? Some nice sari, some nice tie and suit. Are you with me? If you are going to masjid, you won't wear tie suit. You won't wear sari, you won't wear a simple dress. Huh? Okay? Now, if you, are to, if you are invited to wedding, the ladies will put on even more clothes, you know, and uh, jewelry and everything, decorate yourself. You change according to where you are going. Now, if you are at home, you have a different dress. When you go to bed, you have a different dress. So, according to the situation, uh, you change your clothes. Similarly, the nouns in Arabic change their vowel signs at the end. Uh, if they are muftida, then they are marfu. If they are uh, uh, khabar, they are marfu. Okay. If it is a file, it is marfu. Uh, if it comes after harf jar, it is majroor. If it becomes mudaf ilahi, it's majroor. So it changes. But then, do you know in our society there are some poor people? They have only one dress. Wherever you invite them, they will come only in that one dress. They are very poor. They can't afford. Invite them to Walima, they will still come in the same dress. Invite them to Masjid, they will come in the same dress. Huh? Okay? Same dress. So there are some nouns in Arabic language, they have only one appearance. They are too poor to put Tanween anywhere. Are you with me? Look at Haza. I told you Haza is a pronoun, it's a noun. But if you make it Haza Marfu, it will still come in the same way. Make Haza Mansub, same. Make Haza Majroor, same. No change. But then we will figure out whether it is Majroor or not. Or whether it is Marfu or not. Are you with me? Similarly, Man. Are you with me? Man is such a noun. It is in one appearance only. So if you say Kalamu Man, so Man is here. Mudafilehi. Who? Uh, if I change it in a simple way, okay? Haza Kalamu Man. This pain of whose? Or you can say in English, Whose pen is this? What will you say? Whose pen? Which is pen of whose is this? Are you with me? So this is it, brother. Kalamuman, just in your mind, uh, understand that it is mudaf and mudaf ilayhi. Just this much. Later on, as you become strong, brother, you will understand even more complex situation. Okay? Later on. But right now, today, Brother Faru, Kalamu Man is Mudaf, Mudaf Ilehi. Pen of whose? Where is Mudaf? Kalamu. Where is Mudaf Ilehi? Man. Man. Inshallah, you will remember this. Huh? Huh? Later on, things will become clearer. Okay. More than that, I don't think there is any explanation necessary. Fine. Okay. Now it is Aina. Hakibatul Mudarrisi. What is it, brothers and sisters? Where is the handbag of the teacher? See, Hakibatu. What do you see there? Tamarbuta. So it means it's a feminine. So the pronoun has to be according to it, you know. So what is the pronoun now? Here. Okay. Here, Tahtal Maktabi. What is it, brothers and sisters? Here, tahtal maktabi. What is the meaning of this? 
under the desk. It is under the desk. Okay. I want you to, the, the no vowel signs are given. Huh? That's not right here. Yeah. Uh, maybe in the new book, uh, the vowel signs are given. But uh, write down, Tahtal Maktabi. Huh? Huh? Write down. Okay. Tahta al makta bi. Tahta al makta bi. Tahta al makta bi. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Brother, you said Maktabi, why? Why did you make Maktabi there? Tahta is not half jar. Why did you make it Majur? I will explain you. I will explain you. Brother, Tahta is under. What is under? A place. So what is that? Adverb of place. Huh? Adverb of place. Are you with me? Tahta. Okay. Now, there are certain adverbs. Are you listening? This is very important. There are certain adverbs. They behave like mudaf. What did I say? We won't call them mudaf. We will call them adverb. But they behave like mudaf. If someone behaves like mudaf, then we will have to have a mudafilehi. Are you with me? Then we will have to have a mudafilehi. So there are certain adverbs when they will come, they will be followed by mudafilehi. Are you with me? Mudafilehi. Fine. So brothers and sisters, what is this? Zarf. What is this? And what is this? Mudafilehi. Huh? Are you with me, brother? This is again a new concept, but a very important concept. Okay? Tahta is zarf. And then, al-maktabi is mudahfilehi. Huh? Remember this, brother. I will be repeating it all the time. If you look at that statement, like analysis and statement, how would I You will see on page 23, inshallah. But I will do it, Sister Salma. You will say, here. What will you say? Yeah. Are you waiting for our last surprise? I, I'm watching. Huh? Time. I'm watching. We got to finish at 12.30. Okay. Here is Mubtada. What is Tahta? It's a Zarf. What is Al Maktabi? Mudafile. Okay. So I will say Tahta Zarf and Maktabi Mudafilehi together. They are Shibu Jumla. What is it? Shibu Jumla Khabar. What will you call it? Shibu Jumla Khabar. No, Shibu Jumla, okay, brothers and sisters, can be Char Majroor or can be Zarf and Mudafilehi. Are you with me? Are you with me? Huh, brother? Shibu Jumla. We have learned before. It is Char Majroor. Now we learn that Shibu Jumla can also be Zarf and Mudafilehi. Later on in book 3 when we go, they will say Zarf is the Shibu Jumla. And if you want to do it now also, make Zarf, when you write down Tahta Zarf, make it Shibu Jumla Khabar. Do it now, I think. We won't wait till book 3. I was trying to make things simple, you know. So, from now onwards, we'll do like this. We analyze, brother. Here, Mubtada. Tahta, Zarf. Shibu Jumla Khabar. Okay? And then there is one more word that has to be analyzed. And what is that? Al Maktabi. What is that? Mudafilai Khalas. Easy, isn't it? Inshallah. We end it. Our lessons with Halwa Puri. <laughs> okay. Are you with me? So, I want you to say it again, everybody. Hiya. Tahtal Maktabi. 
هي تحت المكتب هي مبتدا تحت ظرف شبو جمله خبر تحت ظرف شبو جمله خبر and then مكتبي مدافلي are you with me now i tell you one more thing yes sister mamuna one second huh? but not all ظرفs will have مدافلي not all so many will have for example did we get a zarf in the beginning yes huwa ala al maktabi hunaka to hunaka did not have mudafilahi are you with me so all of them won't have but many will have ha huh? if i say uh, they are all coming uh, let let me not rush brother they are all coming slowly different kinds of zarf and you know something you already know them because you have read them in the quran all the time and you already know them for example amama khalfa behind amama front the, you know these things eh? fauka over these are all tahta and these are all zarf eh? these are all zarf makan okay inshallah but they will have when you say fauka over then mudafila has to come if you say in front then it is to be front of something if it is behind it is behind of something then those something will be mudaf ilahi are you with me brothers and sisters mudaf ilahi okay so some zarf will have mudaf ilahi some may not have mudaf ilahi If I ask you something, or if you ask me, Aina Anta, where are you? Aina Anta. If I answer, Ana Huna, I am here. Are you with me? Ana Huna. If I say, what is Ana? Muftida. Where is the khabar? What is Huna? Zarf. Shibu Jumla khabar. Are you with me? If I say Huna, I'm here. Where is the khabar? Huna. But Huna is not a noun. It's a zarf. So if it is a zarf, then it is Shibu Jumala khabar. Are you with me? We will do a lot more. Huh? I, I just thought about this to tell you, but normally I don't say all these things. But inshallah, four more minutes. Brothers and sisters, Hiya Tahtal Maktabi. Are you sir? So, tahta, zarf, shibu jumla khabar, maktabi, mudafilehi. Fine. Ajib anil asilati la atiyati. The rest of the things you will read yourself and do it. These three things will answer. Okay? We will answer these three things, brother, sisters. Aina kitabu Muhammadin. The answer has to be from the main text. Aina kitabu Muhammadin. What will the answer? Huwa alal maktabi hunaka. Are you with me? Huwa alal maktabi hunaka. Aina kitabu ammarin. Huwa alal maktabi mudarisi. There it says uh, daftar. But you can say huwa ala maktabi mudarisi. Fine brother. Aina hakibatul mudarisi. It is under the table. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Inshallah, we end here. Please try to do as much as you can huh, at home. Especially the next few pages of the lesson. Huh? And then we, we will move forward. I hope you have come with lots of sacrifices for four days. I hope you enjoyed the lessons. And I hope you find that it is definitely helping you to understand many things now that you did not know before and i hope you find it interesting inshallah you find that learning arabic is a joy learning learning arabic is fun learning arabic is enjoyable learning arabic is fascinating inshallah allah will make it easy for us inshallah rabbana 
آتینا فی دنیا حسنتا و فی الآخرتی حسنتا و وقینا عذاب النار ربنا لا تواخذنا ان نسينا او اخطانا ربنا ولا تحمل علينا اسرا كما حملته على الذين من قبلنا ربنا ولا تحملنا ما لا طاقه لنا به وافوانا واغفر لنا وارحمنا انت مولانا فانصرنا على القوم الكافرين ربنا تقبل منا انك انت سميع العليم وتب علينا انك انت تواب رحيم سبحان ربك رب العزه عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين جزاكم الله خيرا